if you're the one who is trying for a thousands of the job daily but you're not getting response you're the one who is actually hunting your first role or you are the one who is looking for a change of a job and you are stuck in that hunting process I will tell you a few tips and tricks which actually helped me in finding a better roles in top leading companies like G and some of the defense companies in a government sector in Abu Dhabi. If you wanted to know what are my hacks, stick to the end of the video. Today I will tell you everything. So before, you, before we start today's video and talk further about today's topic, I would request you if you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel consider subscribing because this takes a lot of effort now you can see the blazing sun here in Dubai and I'm kind of stuck in outside to make a content for you in very hot weather here so please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't so that we can make more content like this to help you and inspire you if you want to get into the automation PLC DCS Kada and HMI your first impression to any HR personnel or recruiter is actually your CV. So if you have a very good CV, you would definitely have a higher chances to get a good role as an automation, PLC, DCS, and SCADA, or industrial IoT, or OT cybersecurity engineer. How to make your CV effective? You might be thinking about that. What are the key points that you should have to consider to make your CV stand out among all? So number one thing, you come across many job postings from different companies day to day. Try to find out what sort of the skills people are looking for. Try to make a concise CV which should show every skill set that people are looking for. By that way, your chances would be definitely increased. Try to showcase your strengths at the front page of your CV. This would definitely make recruiter to understand your skill set. I have seen many people that they know a lot of information, but they are not capturing everything into CV. Mark my words, your one-liner in a CV at the front page can give you amazing chances to work in a big multinational companies. Another thing which would definitely help you to get a good role is a certifications. Try to find out what people are looking for, what sort of the certification people are looking for. Add in that certification, clear that exams. This would definitely help you to get shortlisted for any position in big tech ventures. Once your CV is shortlisted, the next step is how you're going to be able to clear the interviews. Now let's talk about what are the tips to clear your interviews. It's very important to understand here that once your CV is shortlisted, now it's your time to prove in your interview your skill set. And how to prove that? What are the key parameters that would definitely help you to pass the interview? Number one thing is fearless approach. And how you're going to gain that fearless approach? It is very simple. Fearless approach would definitely come in your way once you have a required skill set for any role. If you're applying for a controls engineer role, you need to have a PLC knowledge, you need to have a PLC practical experience, you need to have a DCS practical knowledge plus practical experience as well. You have to have a SCADA knowledge plus practical experience. You have to have a knowledge related to protocols like MQTT, Modbus, Profibus, Profinet, CANBus. If you have a required practical skills, by that way you would be able to interact in an interview without any fear. For that you have to work like a crazy. You have to work day and night, work on all these skills. Till the time you are fearless. Till the time you're confident enough that whenever you are in any interview, you would be able to speak for yourself. If you are facing a problem that your voice becomes shaky when you are going for an interview and you become nervous, then you really need to work on a communication skills because this is very important. Your body language and your communication skill will tell the interviewer that how much confident you are. And like other skills, you can also gain the communication skills as well. You need to learn the art of conveying your message because I have seen many people, they have a very good knowledge, but when it comes to communicating it, 
they are not able to find a right word and they struggle a lot to convey their message properly. If you want to become successful, you have to practice communication skills. For instance, if you have a friend stem, try to share your knowledge with them. By that way, you will become more confident and in interview, you would be unbeatable, unstoppable. When you would be learning about automation, make sure that you create some sample projects. You should start working on smaller industrial projects. That would definitely help you to gain a confidence that is required for any industry. The projects are key for you to gain a confidence. If you got one CV which shows different project as a fresher and one CV which have no projects, for sure I myself will consider the CV which have a project. It's important to understand one thing that you have to apply every day contact different companies, apply on their job portals, apply on LinkedIn, apply on different job sites. By apply, I mean that you have to apply at least 30 to 50 jobs per day. If you're not finding any job in your region, probably you can apply on some other countries as well. You never know. I have seen many people as a fresher, as an experienced professional, they have, got, they have got jobs abroad. Another very important thing which can be a game changer for you, that is problem solving skills. Employers these days are looking for those candidates who don't fold under stress and they can solve the problems on the fly. That's the reason you have to work on skills like creativity, time management, stress management and your communication skill. Your voice is your instrument. You have to work on that, that when you need to slow down, when you need to speak a bit faster and when you are going to be using high and low pitch of the voice to make your message a powerful and attractive message. We do have a mentorship programs related to automation, PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI. To gain all these skills, WhatsApp number is right into the description of the video. I would highly recommend you get in touch to our admin through WhatsApp. He will let you know how to enroll and unlock your potential. With that, I will conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and bye-bye.